yo it's Trent so I just recorded a video but you know what I was thinking I do have another one so let me just get it out while I'm out here because it's currently like fucking 15 degrees outside and it's 1 a.m. and I'm not going outside if I'm just recording one on video you know what I mean I gotta get another one out I gotta do good I gotta push it so this is the fucking crazy homeless man that I met in my town Right, I live in Illinois, smaller town somewhere. I don't really want to say where yet, but eventually, right? So, I was like 16. I had to be sick. No, I didn't have my car. So 15. Yeah, freshman football, I didn't have my car yet. 15. Yes, I got it. I was just with this kid um, from the team. And it was... It was a Friday, yeah, because there was games. And it was after all the games, right? And we were walking back towards our house. And there's a little cut through, right, that you can take. Uh, that's probably halfway from the high school to my house. Because when I used to ditch, I used to take this way all the time. You just, you leave the high school, you go across the street, you walk down this long ass sidewalk, and then you can cut through this, like, it's literally like a cut through. There's no other way to see it. Like, you don't see it. Only if you know about it, you would know. Like, you squeeze in between these two buildings and, like, this chain link fence. And then you come out next to a Savers and a Burger King, right? So it's late as fuck. It's late as night. Like, we, it's after all the games, probably, like, 11, 11.30. We're walking. We're looking for something open. We're bored, but we're also walking home, you know? And I probably had a card on me. I definitely had nicotine. So we go to Burger King, right? Because what else are we going to do? And I remember I remember this exactly in my head. I don't know if all Burger Kings are like this, just the one in our town. But you walk in and the counter to order is right away. And right to the right, there's three like uh, like bar stools almost facing the door and facing like looking outside into the parking lot. And then it goes around the corner and it's like the whole dining area and the drink Phillips and bathrooms. And another, like, back entrance. And that's where the drive through would be, you know? So, we're sitting looking out right on those first bar stools. And a guy comes and sits right next to us. The whole thing's open. It's late at night. He sits next to us. And he looks homeless, right? He just Or he looks fucked up. But definitely, probably homeless. So, he's talking to us. And I noticed he had, like, an army hat on, right? And I can't remember what I said. But I was like, oh, like, thank you for your service you got any stories or anything and the first thing he said I knew that something was wrong with him because he was like he was like he said something totally random but it made sense you know what I mean but not for the situation but he said words that made sense he was like he was like that's not what it's about or he was like he was like uh he's like we're not gonna let oh what did he say he's like it's not over something you know like PTSD shit I don't know but he said something and uh this other kid we're talking to, I can't remember exactly, but they started a conversation about, like, music and just random shit, but the guy was rambling, and he was a little bit weird, and he was like, um, he was like, you guys are my new friends, and he started getting loud, but he was also kind of funny, we're amused, we're kids, you know, we're talking to him, and he's like, I would get you guys anything you want, anytime, even though he looks homeless, but it's like, whatever, he had his bike out there, that's what made me think he was homeless, he rode his bike there, but he's just an old guy, like, roughed up, and, um, and so I was like, oh, I don't know if he's homeless. I don't know. And he's talking a little bit, talking a little bit. So we're like, okay, this guy's cool, you know. But we start walking outside and he's following us. Like, not in a weird way, but he's, we're just, like, in our mind, we were like, okay, this is us leaving now. Like, we're going to go somewhere. So we're like, let's go to Savers next door. Like, we told ourselves, let's go there. So we're like, oh, we'll catch you later, man. You know, we're going to go to Savers. He's like, oh, I'll come with you. And we're like, oh. Okay, and we thought maybe he just wanted to finish the conversation, or maybe he's lonely. That's what I thought. So we're talking to this guy. I wish I remembered his name or knew his name. But he's talking to us. Um, for some odd reason, I feel like it was Paul or something, but maybe I'm wrong. But he's talking to us, and he's like, um, he's like getting aggressive, kind of. He's like, oh, I don't know. I just, I, people don't really talk to me, they're annoying, you know, he wasn't saying that, but he was saying shit like that, like, talking shit about people, but as, like, a population in general, just people, and he was getting more and more aggressive, and we were like, okay, we want to get away from this guy, kind of, so we're like, okay, man, we have to leave, um, we'll catch you later, and whatever we said, and we left the store before him, and we cut it left quick, and there's 
the next door over is a Dollar Tree. So we snuck in there because we knew he didn't see us. We were just trying to get away, you know, not like bad get away, but just like we don't want to be by him anymore. So we were in there and we're in the back of the store just kind of like, I think there was like a play football we were just throwing around. We were just hanging out for a while, you know. And all of a sudden at the front of the store, there's like screaming, like yelling. And it's like a lady yelling and we come to the front and this guy's getting like pinned to the ground by another older guy, but like a younger older guy, but still older, you know, like a worker. And it's that same old guy and he's yelling and he's got like his shirt half ripped now and it's like going down his shoulder. And he was yelling just crazy shit. He was like, he was like, it's not okay. Just like what I was saying before. Like, I don't remember it really because I've done a lot of stuff, you know. But he was just yelling, like, rambling on about shit. Not war shit, but just, like, life. He's like, people are so rough. People don't people don't pay attention to anything around them. Like, calling them dumb, but also saying they don't care about him in a way. But I remember uh, posting about him and, like, getting a kind of a picture of him. And I swear this girl swiped up and, like, that was my grandpa. Or that's, like, Uncle Paul. Or she said something. I thought his name was Paul. I don't know. Some bullshit. But the, um, it turned out he was homeless or something like that. So that's why I'm going to title it fucking crazy homeless guy. <laughs> but uh, I hope that man turned out okay. But we talked to him for a little bit. You know, he was cool then. You know, I'm not judging anybody. He's probably been through some shit. If he did, you know, he probably went to war. That's not his fault. He probably got fucked up by something. Nothing you can do, you know. But. I'm going to talk a little bit long because I'm just dreading going outside. It's going to be cold as fuck. I have shorts on right now and I have this hoodie and shorts on. Probably going to be like an age restriction or some shit for hitting this at the end of the video. I'm sorry, YouTube. A boy needs his nicotine. A growing boy needs his nicotine. <laughs> That's funny. Um, not for real though, no one ever comments on these. If someone's watching this right now, comment, say something. Like what type of video, or not video, like I'm gonna do a story or games, but like what's a type of story or scenario or what's your story, anything. Or if anybody ever wants to make videos together, let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you for listening. Crazy homeless guy, maybe named Paul. Hope he's doing all right. <laughs>